What if Hash paid the reparations, the Soprano? You know, let sleeping dogs lie. Hey, Soprano! Yes, guys, so we're looking at a hit is a hit from season one of The Sopranos. I believe we don't see Massive Genius again. I mean, this is my only second time we watching the show, and it's his first time watching The Sopranos. But in terms of this fairy fed, we're looking at should Hesh have paid the reparations? Because, of course, in that conversation we saw at the end there, Hesh basically says, No, nah, we ain't paying dick. Which Tony, you know, Tony's backing Hesh to the hills here, saying, Let sleeping dogs lie. But, of course, they're going to get their lawyers involved, but then Hesh brings up the fact that Massive Genius's music company or corporation, or whatever you want to call it, basically used a backing track or something that belongs to Hesh, and they'll counter so, so yeah. It never really goes anywhere for an obvious reason, and it is, like, I actually didn't actually mind the episode. I feel like there's way worse episodes than the show, but in terms of filler, it's my, it's so filler. Because, like, it literally has no implications going forward. Like you just see, you get like a few of these episodes throughout the series where, because it kind of is like a Chris focused episode where it focuses on Chris and his like adve side adventures, you know, and you kind of got that a wee bit earlier on the show, like, you know, I think about The Legend of Malta Santi, which was like, what, I think it was only, it was only what, two episodes before this, you know, so again, you get that, but we're looking at the question of should Hesh have paid any reparations? Of course he shouldn't have paid any reparations, guys, because this whole stuff that they think they're entitled to things, man, it, it's so fucking corrupt and it's flawed and it's literally only existing to uh, America. It's like it's almost like it's an American problem, like massive genius making a lot of money. It's almost like it was a fucking dick measuring contest. Completely needless for him to stand and piss all over the Sopranos' feet. Even though, I mean, he didn't do it completely, but again, it took some pretty big balls for him to walk into their home turf, Sopranos' home turf, and him to demand this. But again, you look at Christopher, and the fact Christopher's like, he's going to pay him what he owes, but just because Christopher thinks he's getting a, a, a nice, cushy music deal. Like, I'm surprised at that. Like, like why didn't Tony confront Chris with that afterwards? No reason for it whatsoever. And even when you see later on the episode about Hash and Chris, he's like, oh, you're just, you're just saying that because I didn't back you at the, the sit-down with Genius. No, because Hash ain't petty like that, but I tell you what, there's a lot of petty bastards in this show, and Chris and Tony, I think, are uh, top of that. But yeah, Hash, absolutely doing the right thing by the counter Sue job. And I like the fact that Tony and Massive Genius agreed about their uh, lawyer's retainers. I thought that was a pretty funny scene. Are I paying retainers? Fuck yeah. I hear that. But again, Hesh, I mean, he does kind of play up the fact that he was getting discriminated on way before Massive Genius was for like, uh, relating himself to like the Jews and history and all that stuff. So it's a really funny dialogue there, but again, he's totally right. But again, you've seen previous episodes that he'd happily fork out money to Junior. Like, there was a shit ton of money he forked out to Junior in here. I, I don't know if I actually mentioned it during the episodes about how much the reparations would have been, but they would have been a decent amount. I mean, it's not like it would have been 50 grand because would, ge would Genius have actually pursued that if it was just like 50 grand? Of course not. It had to be a decent amount. We were we talking millions. I doubt it would have been millions, like, but again, the more it was, the more likely Hesh was to not pay in this. But then again, if you agree to do it once and you do it once, then they'll just keep on coming back for me, guys. But anyway, leave your thoughts down below on Fog Entertainment. Check out more Soprano content. Until next time. Peace.